How's it going everyone, John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use the filtering option over on Twitch. This is a great feature for both a viewer as well as a streamer. This allows the viewer to be able to niche down to what he or she is really interested in watching versus having to go through endless, endless scrolls of trying to find something to watch. This is also really good for a streamer because it allows you to niche yourself down based on what it is that you're playing and it can help you even get exposure to a newer audience. So I'm gonna show you how to set all that up. So the first thing to do is to click on the browse on the Twitch website and then it's gonna bring you right here to categories of all the different stuff that's happening on Twitch, whether it's games and everything in between. So you have two different ways of viewing this. You can either keep it in category mode or if you click on categories drop down over by showing, this will then bring you to live channels which will then display all the different channels that are live. But what I don't like about this is it doesn't show necessarily the game box art. All it shows is the streamer, title, the game that they are playing, and then what tags they are using. So I really don't like this. It's not visually appealing to me, so I stick with categories. But you guys can choose whichever one you guys want. So at the bottom of each one of these different types of games or different types of directory pieces, we have the tags that you see underneath. So for example, for just chatting, we have IRL. For the Overwatch, we have FPS and shooter. So those are different types of categories or not categories, but filters that have been placed for that category. Now, what we can do is we can niche this down even more. So say you wanted to do something a little bit different. So you can click on the filters under the search tags and it gives you this list of a bunch of different tags that you can use. So say you wanted to do adventure. So we click on adventure and now we have all these different games that have adventure for their tag. But maybe we wanted to do something else. So we'll click on it again and let's go down a little bit further on the list and let's choose FPS. So now we have adventure games that are first person shooters. And what I like about this is it shows these games that would be really, really, really far down in the directory. Like for example, you got Bioshock with 13, or sorry, Bioshock 2 with uh, 13 viewers, Bioshock Infinite with 18, or Metroid Prime with four. You wouldn't find these unless you were following the game or if you were just endlessly scrolling down. So it's really nice to be able to just quickly filter what you're really interested in watching, and then bam, you have all these different choices. But let's say you just wanted to see FPS. We get rid of the adventure, and now we have all these FPS games. And you know, you can do the same thing if you wanted to just get rid of all the tags, just click them all away. The second way of being able to add these different filters is by clicking on them underneath. So say you wanted to do card and board game. Well, now we have card and board game, but maybe we wanted to add something else. Maybe we want to see some strategy. So then we're going to click on strategy. And now we have all these card and board games that are strategy games. So this is really cool way of being able to just quickly grab what you want to watch and apply it. Now, say you're a streamer and you want to do this. So you're going to want to go to your dashboard. And in your dashboard, you have the ability of adding tags right down here. So in this area, you can have up to five tags and it gives you a list of all these different types of options that you can add for your own tagging. And this will apply to the game that you're playing and people will be able to see these type of tags whenever you are inside of the browse. So that's pretty much how the filtering works and I personally like it. It makes it a lot easier for me to find games that I may not have even heard of or find streamers that I've never even thought I would ever come across based on the things that I'm interested in wanting to watch that day. So this is pretty cool. But if you guys have any questions on it or if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to go ahead and check out the other content on the channel. I do a lot of different types of streaming tutorials and hopefully they'll be able to help you out. And there's gonna be more videos to come as well. But thanks so much for watching. Take care and enjoy the rest of your streams. And if you are a streamer, keep killing those records and have fun streaming.